Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous video we have seen various questions on solving and finding a regular expression for various regular languages and their corresponding NFAs. Let us continue and find out more questions on this category. The first question over here is asking us to find regular expression over the binary alphabet 0 or 1 for at least three ones in that particular string. Let's see the structure of the string first. Over here, I have drawn three ones. Now covering these three ones, I can have any number of zeros and one in the space positions. You can see that the required regular expression is 0 plus 1 the whole star followed by 1, again 0 plus 1 the whole star followed by 1, again 0 plus 1 the whole star followed by 1, followed by 0 plus 1 the whole star. Now any string which is generated by this regular expression would contain at least three ones in it. Let's see a few string constructed by this particular regular expression. Let's say over here we are generating 0, 0 followed by a 1, followed by let's say 1, 0, followed by a 1, followed by 0, 0, 0, followed by a 1, followed by let's say 1, 0. You can see that, you can see that there are at least three ones generated by this particular string. The ones which is not a part of 0 plus 1 the whole star is always generated mandatory with any string and hence we can say that and hence we can say that the regular expression is generating the required kind of strings. Having written the regular expression, now let us try to find the NFA for this language. You can see that I have constructed the required NFA. It contains the state Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Let us write down the definition. We know that NFA machine M is given by Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F. Over here, the state Q are Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Similarly, we are using binary alphabet so sigma would contain 0 and 1 delta as we know is a transition function q0 is the initial state f is a set of final state and the final state is only q3 over here So far we have constructed the regular expression as well as NFA for the required language. Now let us see the next example. The next question is asking us to find the regular expression over the binary alphabet 0 and 1 having at most three ones in it. If we are allowing at most three ones, it may have 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 or three ones. What we've constructed is the set of all strings of length 0, 1, 2 and 3. This will give minimum 0 ones and maximum 3 ones. Now if we append 0 star in between all these, we will get the required regular expression. Let us try to construct the required NFA for this language.
you can see that I have constructed the required NFA. Q0 is the initial state. On the first one, it will have a switching from Q0 to Q1. From Q1, it will again have a switch from Q1 to Q2 on the second one. Third one, it will switch to the next state, that is Q3. Fourth one will make exceeding the number of ones more than three and hence will go to the trap state. And trap state will encounter any number of zeros or ones. You can see that all the state except the trap state are used as final states. Naming this machine M, the components are Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0 and F. Q will contain the set of states. Over here the set of states are Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Sigma again is the binary alphabet. Delta is the transition function. Q0 is our initial state. Set of final state F would contain Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So we have constructed both NFA and regular expression. Now let us see the next question. The question is asking us to find the regular expression for the set of string such that it contains exactly three ones. Over here I have written three ones which is exactly three ones. Now in between three ones I can have any number of zeros. There are four vacant position. All the four vacant position could be filled with zero star because our regular expression is allowing any number of zeros. And hence the required regular expression would be zero star one followed by zero star one followed by zero star one followed by zero star. Now let us construct the NFA for this language. Over here, I have constructed the required NFA. It contains states Q0, Q1, Q2, and Q3. And state Q0, Q1, and Q2 are non-final. Q3 is final. Let us see the definition of this particular NFA in terms of components. We know that an NFA M is given by the component Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0, and F. Q would contain the set of states which over here are Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. Alphabet Sigma would contain 0 and 1. Delta is the transition function and Q0 is the initial state. Set of final state F would contain only one state that is Q3 over here. Having solved this question, now let us move on to the next one. The next question is asking us to find regular expression for the set of languages such that the string start and end with the same symbol. First, let us see what all string are a part of this particular language. We have to consider epsilon to be starting and ending with the same symbol because it is not having any symbol in it. Other such strings would be 0 and 1, which are again strings of length 1 and starting and ending symbols are the same. Other than them, we have various other symbols such as 00 or 101. They start and end with the same string characters. We need to write a regular expression for this particular language. I can write epsilon or a 0 or a 1. These are all strings of length 1. Now, 2 onwards, we can say that the language contain starting and ending differently the same symbol. So we can have two category, one that starts and end with 0, one that starts and end with 1. 
0, 0 plus 1, the whole star followed by 0 is a set of all string of length at least 2 or more, which starts and ends with 0. Similarly, the one which starts and ends with 1 would be similar. So, we have constructed the required regular expression. Now, let's see the next one. The next question is asking us to find regular expression for the binary alphabet such that the strings are starting and ending with different symbols. That means the one which starts with 1 and ends with 0 or the one which starts with 0 and ends with 1. Let's see the structure first. Suppose a string starts with 1. It may have any number of zeros or 1s. It has to end with a 0. Or else, let us say the string starts with 0. Again, it may contain any number of zeros or 1s. And it ends with a 1. Now, if you write a complete regular expression for this language, it would be something like this. Having seen the regular expression, let's see the NFA for this particular language. Taking Q0 as the initial state, I can have two branches, one for the string which start with 1 and end with 0, other for the string start with 0 and ends with 1. You can see that I have constructed the required NFA. It is having state Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4. Let us name our machine M. The components are Q sigma delta Q naught F as we know. Going to contain set of states. Sigma the alphabet binary alphabet 0 and 1, delta is the transition function, q0 is the initial state, final state would contain q2 and q4. So for the required question, we have constructed both regular expression and NFA. With this, we have completed this topic. We will see more on regular expression and corresponding NFA in the coming up videos. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe.